The Minnesota School of the Air. Hi there, boys and girls. This is Ralph Mossett here to introduce another fine story in the transcribed series, Old Tales and New. Are you ready? Well, then, just sit back, relax, and listen to the story of the Blue Easter Bunny. Well, girls and boys, we have an Easter story for you today. It's about a whole family of Easter bunnies. There's Mother Bunny. Hello. Just wait until you hear what a terrible well, thing please, happened to Please, please, Mother Bunny, I know you're anxious to tell the story, but let's introduce the rest of the family. There's Father Bunny. Hello, girls and boys. And there's Grandfather Bunny. <laughs> Hello there. You know, I have a story I've that I'd like to tell. I've never seen yes. a family so anxious to tell a story. Yes. But before you begin, we want everyone to meet Belinda Bunny, the baby of the family. Hello. I'm not really a baby. I'm quite grown up. Why, I'm old enough to be an Easter Bunny. So you are, Belinda. And now for the story. This family of bunnies lived in a hollow at the bottom of a large oak tree in the forest. One day, just before Easter, when things were ever so busy, Mother said to Father... Father Bunny, I just heard that Mrs. Cottontail is very sick. Oh. She got her feet wet while shopping for eggs the other day, and, well, I wanted to take her some soup. Hmm, that'd be just <laughs> the thing to make her feel better, dear. Well, I know, but I do worry about the time it'll take. Do you suppose you could keep right on working? Why, of course. Now, you just hop along, Mother. I think we can do everything that needs to be done. By my ears, where in the world is Belinda? Huh? Belinda. Oh. Oh, she was practicing hopping over by the seven pine trees a few minutes ago. Now, I'll call her. Uh, Belinda! Uh, Belinda! Just a minute, Father. Hippity, flop When I start hopping, I never stop. I can go hopping as high as the sky, hopping way up where the little birds fly. Hippity, skippity, flippity, flop. When I start hopping, I never stop. <laughs> well, my dear, you'd better stop hopping for just a minute. I was just telling your father that Mrs. Cottontail is very sick. Oh, that's too bad. So it is with Easter so close. I'm going to hop over with some soup for her. Now, while I'm gone, you and your father and your grandfather uh, are going I to... Did I hear somebody mention my name? Yes, grandfather. I was just telling Belinda what you rabbits will do while I go visit Mrs. Cottontail. <laughs> you three will have to keep getting things ready for Easter. Grandfather, you keep weaving the Easter basket. Oh, I've got some splendid ones so far. I'm sure you I... have, Grandfather. Yes, I have. Now, Father, I left the recipe for the chocolate bunnies and the marshmallow chickens on the table. Uh... But, dear, I've never cooked... Well, this is a good time to learn, and they're very easy to make. Mm. Just read the recipe and you'll get along all right. Yeah. Well, what am I going to do? You, my dear, will stir the dye for the Easter eggs. <gasps> they are all ready to dye, and we'll begin as soon as I get home. Oh, goody! I've never mixed dye before, but I'll do a good job. Well, just put the dye in the big pails and add some water from the stream and stir it until it's well mixed. But do be careful, Belinda... You're so hoppity these days, I worry about oh, you. Oh, I'll be careful, Mother. Well. Goodbye. Goodbye, my dears, and do be careful. Hey, goodbye, goodbye. Easter's tomorrow, and we simply don't have time for mistakes. I'll watch over everything, dear. Don't worry. I won't. Goodbye. Hey, goodbye, Bye. dear. Goodbye. Bye. Have a nice trip. Such lovely baskets. I don't think the girls and boys have ever had lovelier baskets than they'll have tomorrow. <laughs> In and out, around about, a basket soon they'll be. <laughs> Weaving is without a doubt a very good job. For me. <laughs> yes, a very good job for you, yes, Grandfather. Yes. I'd better get started on my new job. Uh, uh, let me see. Where's that recipe? Oh, here it is. Uh, let's see now. A pot, a chocolate, milk, and butter. Uh, I do hope I get this right. Uh, now, let me see. Hmm. First, I need a great big pot to melt all this chocolate. Then I'll add the milk and butter too, and cook and boil it till it's through. Then pour the mix 
moisture into here, and chocolate bunnies will appear. Well, and now I, uh, I must think about making those marshmallow chickens. Hmm. I wonder how Belinda's getting along with her. Let's see. Belinda? Belinda! Do you have the dye mixed? <laughs> this is the most fun I've ever had. I have the red dye mixed, and the yellow is done, and the lavender's all ready to use. Now I've just finished the gold, and now, now I'm going to mix the blue. Mm. Oh, I feel so happy. I could hop all over. Maybe as high as the moon. Now you watch those hops, Belinda. You'll have plenty of time to hop when the dye is all mixed. Oh, yes, Father. I'll be careful. Yeah, see that you do. Uh, I'm going to the kitchen again. Uh, come in there when you're through, dear. All right. It'd be so much more fun to hop while I stir. I think I'll try some little hops, like I used to do when I was a baby. A little hop here and a little hop there will take me very high into the air. I'll mix this sky of bright sky blue. I'll hop and mix, and when I'm through, I'll hop as high as a bunny ever can. I'll hop right over this coloring pan. Hop! Oh, help! Belinda! Help. Belinda, what happened? Oh, indeed you did, Grandfather, and Belinda is gone. Oh, do you suppose she could have fallen in the stream while she was getting water? Oh, well, I don't know. Oh, oh, yeah. I think I hear someone oh, talking. Yes, it, it sounds like it, but where did it come from? It's you hurry to the stream, and I'll look around here. Yes, all right, all right. All right. All right. Belinda. Uh, Belinda, how did you ever fall in there? Here, give me your paw, and I'll help you out. Come on, now. Here. Oh. Uh, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, I don't see what you're laughing at. Falling in a pan of dye is a bit funny. Oh, funniest thing I ever saw. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, ha, ha. A blue Easter bunny with four blue paws, two blue ears, and a blue bobtail because she fell in an Easter pail. Oh, oh, oh. Ha, ha, ha. Funniest thing I ever <laughs> saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we, we, we'd better take Belinda oh, to the stream and wash this dye off before yes. Mother Bunny gets home. Well, let's hurry before it dries. I can't be all blue for Easter. Oh, you'd better hop down to the stream, and I'll stay here and finish my marshmallow chickens. But hurry, Mother will be home very soon. We'll hurry. <laughs> I don't want to be blue forever. <laughs> There, now, 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 Belinda, you, you, you hop into the stream, and I'll, I'll sit here on the bank, and we'll both scrub. Ooh, hmm? that water looks cold. Well, I suppose it is, but we'll have to get this dye off some way. All right. Here I go. Hey, hey. <laughs> we'll be careful now. Hold it. <laughs> there we go. There, now, I'll scrub your ears off. All right. That's it. <laughs> say. What's the matter? Say, say. You know, I, I'm afraid this dye isn't going to come <laughs> off. <laughs> oh, that tickles, Grandpa. Oh, well, well, I, I'm sorry, but it, it's better to have a tickling feeling than a hurting feeling. Oh, Grandpa, what's the use? This blue just won't come off. Eh, uh, doesn't look like it will. Well, I uh, think we'd better go back and see if your mother is home. She might know of some kind of bleach to take the blue out of your fur. Well, I guess we'd better. <laughs> Oh, I do hope she won't be angry, Grandpa. Why, she might not even recognize a blue bunny. Well, Belinda and Grandfather have been gone quite a while. I do hope they can get that blue dye off. Hello, Father. How are things coming along? Oh, hello there, dear. Just fine. I'm finishing the last of the marshmallow chickens in the... The chocolate bunnies are all done. Oh, boy. Why, they're lovely. They're much nicer than I could have made, I'm sure. <laughs> well, um, uh, how is Mrs. Cottontail? Oh, she's feeling much better. She liked the soup. Her family's been helping her just as much as mine. Fine. They've started dyeing their eggs already, though. Say, that reminds me, where's Belinda? Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, she and Grandfather have, uh, well, they've taken a little hop to the stream. Well... What's so funny about that? Well, uh, you see, dear, uh, uh, when Belinda was mixing the dye... Mother! Dial... Mother! Oh, I'm so glad you're home. Well, well, who's this strange little bunny? It's me, Belinda. Yes, it's Belinda, all right. Uh, 
blue dye just won't wash off. Blue dye? A blue bunny? But I don't understand. Well, you see, Mother, I was mixing the last pail of dye, and I was taking little hops like I oh. used to take when I was a baby. And that's and what I she was, was doing. Yeah, yeah, and I was singing a little hop song. Well, what, what song was that, Belinda? Well, it was one I made up. It went like this. A little hop here, a little hop there. Won't take me very high into the air. I'll mix this dye of bright sky blue. I'll hop and mix, and when I'm through, I'll hop as high as a bunny ever can. I'll hop right over this coloring pan. Well, I tried hopping over the coloring pan, and before I knew what was happening, I fell in the blue dye. Oh, Belinda. What can we do? Well, is there some way we can beach my fur so I'll be white again? No way that I know of. Well... Do we have any white dye? Of course not, dear. The eggs are already white. Oh, dear. I guess I'll just have to be blue. But, Belinda, there has never been an Easter bunny blue. Belinda, Belinda, whatever shall we do? There has never been an Easter bunny blue. You look just like an Easter bunny clown. What will the rabbit say in Easter Bunny Town? <laughs> I, I can't help laughing, Mother. I, I'm sure there must be some way to fix her up. I didn't mean to fall in the blue dye. Oh, I'm sure you didn't, my dear, but it is Easter tomorrow, and we have to deliver our baskets of eggs before the sun is up. Well, that solves the problem. It'll be dark, and no one can tell if Belinda is white or blue. Yes, yes, that's, that's right. And by next year, she'll have a new white coat. And besides, if we have blue eggs and blue baskets, I don't see it for whether it'll matter or not if I'm a blue oh, bunny. certainly. <laughs> well, I, I suppose you're right. What difference does color make? You can still hop beautifully, and you'll be a big help on Easter morning. Yes, there you go. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. <laughs> That's the story of the Blue Easter Bunny. And if you ever see one, you'll be quite sure that her name is Belinda. And now, before we leave, we all want to wish you a happy Easter. This is what we want to say, a happy Easter to you. From Grandpa, Father, Mother, and Belinda Blue. Happy, happy Easter when church bells ring. We've just presented the tape transcribed story, The Blue Easter Bunny. Written especially for radio by Alice Rice, with music by Marlene Forsberg. Heard in the cast were Peg Baskerville, Irv Fink, Al Hart, and Betty Snyder, members of the University Radio Guild. Gordy Benson was our engineer, Ramona Kinnett handled sound, Doug Perrin played the piano. Old Tales and New is produced and directed by Mary Lou Reed. Assistant to the producer is Connie Muehlbach. Listen in next week to the story of The Tired Train. This has been a tape-transcribed Minnesota School of the Air presentation.